same thing. It seems that not as much has changed in a hundred years as you might expect, but at least wheelchair design has come a long way. I'm very glad to be back in my own comfortable chair, but I wonder if it will look as archaic in a century's time as this one looks to me now. I just love that chair. One person who won't be needing it though is Ian Jory, cult rock figure of the late 70s. At the moment, he's appearing in his own musical, Apples, at the Royal Court Theatre in London. Earlier this week, I went along to meet him. The Royal Court is better known for its serious plays and its encouragement of young talent. Recently, they invited Ian Jory to take them in a different direction quite in love with this theatre, this particular theatre, Royal Court, and I've worked here before. I've never written dialogue before, and I may have probably made a few mistakes. And the plot is pretty shallow, but if you had a deep plot, you would never, you wouldn't have it like a rock and roll gig. You couldn't do, it's like a mixture of a rock and roll gig and a, and a drama. You know, so there's a strange, a kind of feeling of, I wish it was really a gig for mm. me personally. Jury first came to prominence during the 1970s, when, with the likes of Elvis Costello, Ian Jury and the Blockheads were on the bill at the Stiff Record Tour. Soon after, their first album, New Boots and Panties, became required listening and established him as a mainstay of the post-punk era. Disabled since he was a child, Jury started school life at Chaley Heritage, an old-style hospital school in Sussex. Jury claims that he didn't just draw on his own life when writing the controversial track Spasticus Autisticus. Well, I put one verse in there, so place your hard-earned peanuts in my tin and thank the creator you ain't in the state I'm in. So long have I been languished on the shelf, I must give all proceedings to myself. In other words, I don't do things for charity, man. I do things for money. I make a living. And uh, in the year of the disabled, I was going to do a band called Spastic. That was going to be me and the autistics, which was going to be the blockheads, right? And just call it Spastic, just to be naughty, you know? Because I didn't really subscribe to the year of the disabled, because that meant that everyone was going to be all right the following year. I've been on the road six years before that. But oh, right. With my other band, but Kilburn's. But, yeah, that was early days for the blockheads, yeah. Did you come across any sort of uh, stick from audiences, you know, like being a disabled performer, then, when you weren't as well known as you are now? Nah. Stick. Never. Not once. Not once? No. Why do you think that was? But I don't... I don't... I didn't expect to have any stick. What, from being disabled? Yeah. Nah. Why? But he has taken some stick recently. There were those who didn't exactly warm to his first attempts at writing for the stage. We got heavily slaughtered by the critics, so sometimes there ain't many people here in the midweek. And that gets demanded, keeping your spirits up. Um, it's like you're throwing a lot of energy out to make the show work. And sometimes if it's not many people in, you don't get a lot of energy coming back towards you. That gets quite debilitating. Yeah, you're glad you did it, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've met um, a lot of good people, met lots of friends. And we've, you know, the actors are great and the musicians are great. So it's... It's pleasure to do it every night.